picture postcard perfection. Tourists are back in Venice, but they won't be arriving anytime soon on large cruise ships. It follows years of debate about banning mega cruise ships to protect Venice's lagoon ecosystem. That debate became much more heated with the arrival in June of a towering 90,000 ton ship. The government finally announced the ban in July after threats from UNESCO to place Venice, a World Heritage Site, on its endangered list. Italy is promising to cover lost wages for thousands of workers who rely on the cruise industry to keep them afloat. We hope the government comes up with a way for us to continue. A subsidy might last a year or two, but this decree says ships won't pass through anymore. We need certainty for our future. This is the Giudecca Canal, which cuts right through the heart of Venice, passing by St. Mark's Square. And it's this very artery through which these huge ships will no longer be able to pass. But that doesn't mean they'll be completely blocked from the Venetian lagoon. The plan is to have large cruise ships enter the lagoon through a back channel and dock at the mainland industrial port of Marghera. The problem is the port isn't ready to receive cruise passengers. City councilor Marco Gasparinetti grew up along Venice's canals. He welcomes the ban but sees it as a distraction. It's a visible part of the iceberg. The visible tip is the big ships, but we have many other problems, and the big ships are not the only one. And what are those problems? The fact that the city is dying in terms of being a living place with the citizens uh, living inside and not having to commute uh, to get a job uh, which cannot uh, uh, give you the chance to live in the city where you are just a commuter. Yeah. Maeve Kuchol is part of an organization that lobbied for the ban. She sees it as part of a larger push to focus on long-term sustainability. All of that would be done not to, to shift the focus away from accommodating tourism to um, really fulfilling the needs of the local residents who depend also on the biodiversity of the lagoon and on the well-being of the whole environment here. Venice rose as a commercial powerhouse centuries ago to the great benefit of its people. Finding a balance that keeps coffers full and residents from fleeing will take more than banning cruise ships from its waters.